I decided to redo Chapter 3's dungeon to experience the full story in its true form. However, it took me five hours to complete, and this is what happened. I played the game like most people, just skipping most of the dialogue and barreling through all the content first. I played through everything and then went back to the theater to watch all the story afterwards. That worked for chapters 1 through 2, but it was not the best strategy for chapter 3. By the time I got to the last two episodes in the theater of chapter 3, I realized that I was missing a big chunk of lore and story beats that only happened during the boss battle. So, I decided to go back and redo chapter 3 to experience it in its truest form. However, I didn't realize that with the recent patch, it had fixed the Cromer boss battle. Prior to the patch, Cromer had a passive where she would heal for 15% of her max HP if she had a stack of bleed or burn by the end of the turn. But what ended up happening was that passive wasn't working and it was bugged. So this means that player were able to beat Cromer using burn and bleed builds, which are very strong, but the game designer did not intend for that to happen. After the patch that happened recently... When I went back to fight the boss, I realized I was unable to beat it. I spent two hours trying to beat it. Did not happen. The first reason was that my team was 80% blunt, and my Sinclair was using blunt damage as his main focus. I had to use Sinclair, but because of the weakness affinity, it was the wrong Sinclair. I had to use base Sinclair instead. But he wasn't equipped. Another issue was that many of my characters I had used to clear the dungeon before had been swapped for their shinier tier 2 and tier 3 variants. That means they were primarily blunt damage, which wasn't helpful. After two hours of excruciating pain, I decided to reset. I quickly went into the mirror dungeon to get some experience tickets and leveled up all my base centers to level 20. This way, I had a stronger baseline in case something went wrong. I swapped out all the unnecessary characters that I didn't need for their base form so I had their supports ready. Then I got my team ready for the dungeon. This is the team that I used. I used 3 star Gregor, 2 star Honglu, base Otis, base Mersault, base Ryoshu, base Sinclair, 2 star Encorp Rodion, base Don Quixote, base Faust, base Heathcliff, and LCCB Ishmael with 7 section Shi. He sang. I mainly used Hong Lu, Gregor, Otis, LCCB, Ishmael, and Heathcliff for the majority of my run. I was able to get to the final boss with ease and got all the three signs for Sinclair. However, I made a terrible mistake in the second phase of the boss fight. I thought I could big brain the bleed mechanic so that Hong Lu could attack the boss first if he was faster, and then my under units would be able to clash with Cromer so they could proc the bleed effect. This worked in the first phase and I was able to play around the bleed so that it was gone by the end of the turn. The biggest mistake that I made was when I decided to lich in to chat. During this part of the boss fight, I was trying to figure out whether or not I should use Hong Lu to attack, so I was stumped between defending or attacking. Chat was saying that if I use Honglu to attack a staggered body part, my other units attack non-staggered body parts. Those coin flips would trigger the bleed proc. However, this did not happen. I attacked with Honglu on a part that was essentially staggered and my other units attacked body parts that had actions available. As a result, the bleed stack remained, causing Cromer to heal for 15% HP, which was a huge problem as Cromer had healed at least two to 400 worth of health by the end of the fight. And these are the series of events that happened. While Honglu did do a lot of damage, the last part really screwed me over. In a last ditch effort, I made him use his ego and let Cromer just grip him down. I lost Ishmael and the free revive from that one ego gif I got had been popped, leaving me with only three characters. While Honglu did do a lot of damage, the last part really screwed me over. We managed to get the boss to less than 200 HP but at this point I wasn't too sure I was going to win as the boss had already accumulated so much power from all the bleed stacks. So how Cromer works is if she has a bleed stack or a burn stack at the end of the turn, not only does she heal for 15% HP, but she gains 3 bonus attack power. 
During the fight, she had gained a total of nine, which was very, very dangerous. At this point in time, she was starting to hit like a truck. Eventually, though, after Cromer's turn, I was able to hit the damage threshold without realizing it, and I was able to get the cutscene. All I had to do to finish the fight was win the coin flip after Cromer was staggered, and I had to take her down in that turn. I clicked win rate and hoped it'd be enough to finish the boss fight. It was a very intense moment, but when the cutscene started to go into its cinematic phase, I knew I was gonna. Okay, that's a stagger. <laughs> oh! Oh! Did you do it? Oh! Oh! Chat, yo, did I do it? Oh my god, let's go! This fight was one of the most exhilarating experiences I've had with this game. Even though it took me five hours to complete, it was definitely worth it to experience the story in its fullest form. It was a great fight. I honestly could have just watched someone else do it on YouTube, but going through it myself and beating Cromer in his, her strongest form was definitely a treat to behold. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys like this type of content in the comment section of John down below. John Panio signing out. Until next time, bye for now.